Given that these guys, um, particularly in rugby, obviously, but uh, but also in, even in in tennis, for example, or cricket, I mean, they're likely to be suffering a lot of aches and pains as a result of the amount of sport they're doing. Do you find that they can often identify the point at which the back pain began, or is it simply that eventually they notice they've got a pain that's not going away? Um, usually, I would say if we stick to that sort of extension-related low back pain. Um, the most common cause of that, as I say, is a bone stress injury. So if we think of that co cohort, first of all, what will happen initially is they will usually get intermittent pain on activity. Let's take specifically, say, cricket. They might bowl um, maybe 20 balls and then they get low back pain, particularly if it's a particularly fast or high intensity effort. And that might or might not cause them to stop straight away. So sometimes they end up coming to an abrupt halt and they just realize that they can't carry on. Um, but quite commonly, they just sort of stop for a little while, then they'll have another go. And then maybe they stop for a few days and they, they avoid that extension based activity and then they go back to it. And over a period of weeks, what tends to happen is each time they go back to it, their tolerance is less. So if they could bowl, you know, 20 balls before the, the pain came on two weeks ago, that rapidly comes down to two or three balls and the pain comes on. And at some point in this proceedings, either over many months uh, with a stop start pattern or just maybe that awareness that um, they need to get something done about it in order to be able to carry on doing what they enjoy. They come and see me and it's the sooner we get these kids in this process, the more likely we are to turn them around rapidly.